putting the game in people's hands, seeing them play, how's it been for you? It's been amazing. I mean, we've been sitting on this idea for almost three years, mm -hmm. and we're back, you know, back home thinking about it and saying, what are people going to say? How are they going to feel? What's going to happen when they actually take the controller and they get to use guns for hire? They get to go out into Hope, Montana. They get to experience all the stuff that we want to be able to put into the Anecdote Factory. And it's just, it's awesome to see. It's very cool. I played it myself, and the demo starts with a choice yes. of three of the guns for hire yep. you can have. Talk us through yep. each one. So you've got three right from the beginning, and we've got Nick, and Nick is kind of like this uh, death from above guns for hire, right? Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he's a crop duster by trade, he's got this plane that he's outfitted with the ability to strafe and to be able to drop bombs, and he's just a hell of a lot of fun to play with. Or you can choose Grace, and Grace is super tough, super accurate with the sniper rifle. She's great sort of from up above in the water tower, um, she's super quiet, so if you want to play stealth, that's how you do it. But once she unleashes, she brings the thunder, it's all kinds of trouble. And then finally you got Boomer, which is a fan favorite, everybody's loving Boomer. Um, it's your dog, your pet. Uh, your best friend, and what's cool about Boomer is if you want to be able to go out and, and play may maybe with a little bit more of intention of being stealthy, you can go and actually mark everybody and then choose which one you want Boomer to take. And there are definitely moments where I sort of was like, all right, there's two guys coming from around this truck. Boomer, you go yeah. there, I'll yeah. go here, yeah. boom. Yep, it works. I mean, that's the thing that we wanted. And the guns for hire are there for you to use the way you want and kind of attack the whole game from 360 degrees. Did you get in the uh, Widowmaker? Did you get in the big truck? Is that the name? Yeah. Oh, the Widowmaker. Yeah, yeah with the, the big, big truck with the eagle on the side and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So you hop inside, you get inside this big rig, and you go off. And if you've got a Guns for Hire with you, they're either on the ground running with you, they're getting in a car themselves, they're, they're beside you in the seat. And as you go out into the world, what we wanted was the feeling that the cult was putting pressure on the world, that you could see it, that there's going to be moments of cult interactions out in the world. And you can basically take that. If you want to go off road, you can. If you want to be able to stay on the road, you can. If you want to go hunt off to the side, you can. And then when you finally get to Nick's, you realize here's another person like you who's being pushed back by the cult. He's being basically pushed at, and you can liberate him, make sure that he's safe, and then he turns to you and says, hey, listen, thanks, partner. Listen, my plane's not too far away. If you got a moment, go take the plane, do some damage with it, and try some death from above. Let's get into some trouble. Yeah, let's do it. If you do enough damage, if you push too hard, they call down the Chosen. And the Chosen are going to show up. They're going to be tough. They're going to be very tough to beat. They're going to give you a real challenge. And they're going to force you or push you or encourage you to try and play the game a different way. It's a beautiful place to spend some time, get into some mayhem. Yes. Exciting to see Far Cry 5 here at E3. And it's coming out next year. Yep. What's the date? February 27, 2018. Be there.